My dear brothers and sisters, friends, I'd like to speak to you about VAD, Voluntary Assisted Dying, otherwise known as euthanasia. And as many of you would know, our government here in the Northern Territory will eventually be debating and looking at legislation involving VAD. At this present time, there's a consultation with the community which will close on the 1st of March. In this consultation, they are asking people to express their thoughts on this matter. As Catholics, we believe in the dignity of the human person, right from conception till death, in fact, forever. We believe that each human life is sacred. We believe that the act of dying is sacred and that God is with us in that act of dying. Of course, we are committed to helping people die with dignity. Of course, we are about helping people not to have to suffer unnecessarily. The situation is that nowadays, with good palliative care, it is possible to really minimize to a great degree the suffering that a person goes through. And we, of course, are not committed to extending life unnecessarily. We don't have to do extraordinary means of prolonging life. There comes a time when you let a person die with dignity to let nature take its course. However, the direct killing of a person is not the same as palliative care. Palliative care is helping a person to die with decreased pain, with minimal pain and with great dignity. We need to continue educating our people and improving what was made available in the area of palliative care. Many people don't know what is available. With modern medicine, a great deal can be done to help a person. We also need pastoral care, where the person who is dying and their family are looked after and supported in the best possible way, both spiritually and in other ways. So we need to be reflecting on this whole area and expressing our views in this consultation. Please think about this, pray about this. Another aspect is the care of the medical profession. Those involved in various levels of medical care are concerned that their rights and conscientious rights could be in jeopardy with pressure put on them as they try to do go about the business of helping people and caring for people. Another area to consider is we don't want our hospitals and our palliative care hospice to be places where VAD takes place. It's a conflict of interests. Hospitals are about life. Palliative care is about living life fully while a person is still alive. It could send conflicting signs for many people to have VAD in our hospitals. So please express your concerns about these issues in the consultation. The more that people express their views, the more balanced will be the outcome of this debate and conversation. God bless you all as I pray for you as you reflect on how to respond.